everything about it just seemed amazing. And, and I, the, my favorite term I think I've used to describe it is, it's horrendously beautiful. This kind of came up as a, a complete random experience. Um, we were actually driving through Harrisburg. We were at a show at the Farm Show Complex, and we were leaving with a group of friends to go to a, a dinner. We were driving through downtown, and I saw my dad saw this uh, place called Bull and Saw Motors, and they had a website list, and it said vintage BMWs. And we'd always been into vintage racing. My parents run vintage races, the Grand Marshals, and the Stewards, and all that stuff. So we'd always been into that, and it was. He's like, oh, you should look out and see what they had, just kind of jokingly. And I had been up almost 24 hours at this point because I had worked night shifts. So I went at 8 o'clock at night, got off at 8, we drove all the way up there. And it was now, you know, dinner time. So I looked at the website and saw the car and it was like, it became like an obsession with it. So I was like, this is really cool. What is it? I want it. But that night I went to sleep and all I could think about and dream about was the car. And you know, I know some people say that, and you never really understand that, you know, how, how do people dream about that stuff? But that was all I could think about for a few days. And then I ended up calling the guy and he um, opened up the showroom and there was all these awesome cars and this just stood out from everything. Euro cars are always, were so mass imported that they're more affordable and, and they're, they're, even though they're, they're, we're seen as luxury cars, but they really were just kind of, at least E30s, they were kind of just normal car. It has a nice interior and it has comfortable seats, but it's before BMW became luxury. The start of the era of change, where the cars are not too futuristic that you can't touch them and work on them, but they're also futuristic enough that they're reliable and you can keep comfortably work on them and you can use it as a car. Where this, you know, I, I have no doubt that I could take this and drive it 400 miles and not worry about reliability. I've always liked the BMWs. I always loved the 36 and I really wanted to get one. I would have gotten probably one if I didn't get this. Or the the F80 generation. They look, they all, I think they look amazing. And it, it kind of, the cars fell in perfectly in place for me to get this. Instead of one of those with being vintage and being right at the bracket of affordability and everything just kind of made it the perfect, the perfect storm.